It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We thank you so much for joining us. We have two guests today, two great guys. We have Pete Jones. Pete is with NASA's JPL. Lots of acronyms, don't worry. We also have Dan Heinfeld. He is the president of LPA Architecture Firm. More acronyms. We'll start with you, Pete. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, what is NASA's JPL? You know, JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, manages all of NASA's deep space exploration. So anything past the moon, JPL does. And JPL is here in Southern California in Pasadena. In Pasadena. Okay, so you are with LPA. We don't need to know exactly what it is. It's a name for an architectural firm. That's Fair correct, enough. Brad, right. um, and your firm, what's its specialty? Our specialty is sustainable design. Uh, we've been specializing in that for over 25 years and have a deep history in doing really buildings that lessen their environmental footprint on, on the earth. And there's something called LEED certified, a new acronym for us. What's LEED certified Le mean? LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, and it's a, it's a rating program on how to rate your green building. They've been doing it for about 10 years, and the parent company is the United States Green Building Council, and they've sort of a, a, have essentially uh, adopted this system so that you can actually really sort of go through a way and a structure of doing sustainable design. So Pete, if you can, what's the connection between LEED and JPL? Well, really the exciting part is that NASA mandated in 2008 that all of our new construction buildings would be LEED certified silver at least. Okay. And so it was a no-brainer for us to, to get together with LPA to achieve that goal. Okay, so there you have it. In 2009, LPA completed construction. You were the architects on NASA's first LEED certified building. Tell us all about it. You were the architect. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really great building. It's actually gold building, which is the third, it's the third highest rating. There's only one level higher okay, than that. Right. Uh, more complicated way to say it. There you but, have uh, it. Uh, anyways, and so what the building is, we think it's a really great example for all of the region because it does two things I think really very well. Number one, it uses all of sort of whatever now become best practices. Sustainability has been around a long time, so there's a lot of things that would have not been considered, you know, sort of uh, easy to achieve five or six years ago. And this is not a tiny building. No, it's not. It's, a, it's actually a pretty large building. It's 190,000 square feet. So it's a program that most people would really recognize. It's, it's an office building that has meeting spaces and auditorium spaces in it. So all of it, it does all the things that we call the low hanging fruit. And then it specializes and really concentrates in two areas, which we think are really important to the region, which are water use, mm -hmm. how to reduce water no use. No doubt. And energy use. So the building actually saves um, uh, over half uh, 500,000 square feet of water a year. Wow. It does that with the building and the landscaping. And then it's a building that's 25% better than Tile 24, which is our energy code in the state of California. And so that means that building, compared to a normal office building, uses 25% less energy. Pete, let me ask you, you're the facilities manager at JPL, yeah. and no doubt you needed to go LEED certified, but that being said, I think there is a perception, and I wanna know if it's true, that becoming LEED certified is um, exorbitantly more expensive. No, we're, we're very lucky. We're very lucky in this project that we were able to, with our, our LEED uh, silver budget, to go LEED gold. Wow. And so uh, the fact that we could get to that was, was amazing to, to, to both of us. I and believe. talk to me more about the cost of building a sustainable structure. I, I, as I understand it, it, the cost is incrementally more maybe and you make it right back up. Is that a fair statement? Uh, absolutely. Uh, because of all the systems and the things that are available now and the things that we have to do in our state uh, from a code standpoint, doing a lead building in our state is actually no more construction Literally. Costs. Literally no it more It should be a costs. zero, net zero. Absolutely. Because it's really about your value decisions, where you decide to spend your money. I see. Right. And what about savings? Because you have less water and less energy. Less How much energy. So, right, can you quantify? So, yeah, it, well, it all depends on where you serve. But for this much. building? But for this building, um, the savings in water, uh, like I said, are uh, half a million gallons Got a it. year. And then the energy use is large also. Thanks for joining us. It's Local Edition. Back to CNN HLN. As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle.